Hello, everybody. This is Martin Mavex Forever, and welcome to the first episode of Let's Make a PID Loop. All right. So you see right here on the screen,、um, I have set up a basic、um, non-competition、uh, file in Robust C, and I apologize for not doing this in Robust C actually,、um, because I I just can't pay eighty dollars for Robust C and. Uh, today was basically my last day in the lab. So uh, uh, if in the future I get Robust C, I'll do stuff in Robust C. But if we cannot get Robust C, I'll just type in Notepad, and、uh, I will use my experience to try to make sure that I don't make a typo. All right. So basically,、uh, people have been asking me about、um, a PID and.、Um, It's、uh, all the way until Scarus has kind of been a secret in in Vex community. It's significantly,、um, I'm mean, save your.、Um It, well, it makes your autonomous not neater if you use it on base or lift control.、Uh, I'm the program, and、um, uh, most importantly, it significantly improves your autonomous accuracy, and that was just so crucial in Skyrise. And、uh, people have been keeping it as a secret, like my secret weapon that、I、kind of want to share. But I feel that like everybody should know this technology because it's very important. It, it's a very basic idea and a very industrialized tool. Um, if you go study um, engineering um, and motor control, and、um, I feel that VEX is a very good way to、um, to 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 introduce and expose you you to this area.、Uh, so right here,、um, let's imagine a very simple robot. The robot basically,、uh, I use robots to generate these、um, uh, configuration commands.、Um, Basically, the robot has a left side base and the right side of the base, and、um, we'll, we'll basically there are motors on them. And the robot, we right now for in, for the sake of simplicity, we, we assume that the robot cannot strafe, so it's just straight out tank base, and um, uh, we uh, wire all of these motors into one loop. So we assume that there are either two、uh, motors or one motor on one side. So basically, we, for the sake of simplicity, we just basically define two ports as the left base and right base. And for PID, we need a sensor. In this case, we use、uh, integrated motor encoder. So what we're gonna do, or what the PID is gonna do in this case, is to use the information or the values or the readings of the two, the encoders on two sides,、uh, the two encoders on both sides. To smartly monitor the、uh, entire base's movement and make sure that it doesn't overshoot or it just basically makes the、uh, autonomous more consistent. And、um, right now, these are、uh, commands that will automatically open up the uh, de uh, de de、um, debuggers in Robust C. So you can,、uh, in this case, I put global variables and motors, so you can just simply、uh, and easily see your motor values and your um, um, I mean, global variables. In this case, probably your target and your、um, error or something. If you want to see that, you can see that in global variables. That's very convenient, and we include the platform with Vex. Although we are not going to use the、uh, a lot of、um, in this case, we don't plan to use native language. We、we'll、just include that, and、uh, very simple, a main task. And I just placed this while loop inside this、uh, main task, so that basically the program keeps running. That's the purpose, and uh, uh, I use a fairly big wait time of 20 milliseconds, which is basically pretty big.、Uh, most people use 10 milliseconds, five milliseconds, but、uh, basically, if if you use the motor controller MC29,、uh, as what Mr. Perman has said, that、um, if you use a motor controller 29, the maximum update rate for the motor power is every 20 seconds. So that it, you can see that you can see me that later in the PID programming and loops, I will use 20 as the wait time, or probably a little bit、uh, a, a bigger or slower loop, because it just doesn't make sense if you, uh, uh, I mean, if you make a loop、uh, that actually runs faster than the speed、uh, at which the motor can update itself, like natively in Robot C. So, uh, so uh, right now we are gonna set up,、uh, set up something very simple. Uh, I always recommend doing this,、uh, doing your user functions. 
when uh, before uh, before I actually start diving into programming, uh, just so th just so that you know what you're doing with your motor, you don't have to figure out or type the motor commands again. So in this case, we are going to type a command, uh, type a user function called um, let's just call it move base. All right, let's type void move base, and uh, we will add a parameter which is an integer. And uh, this uh, integer, let's call it speed. That looks about right. And don't forget your brackets. So in this com uh, uh, in this uh, user function, what, what we're going to do is that we are going to put all of our motor assignments to here. For instance, so um, so that if we call this user function move base, the program automatically assigns the value speed you put in the bracket in, uh, to, to, to the parentheses to the motors so that you can very simply know that w what you're doing you, c you can just it just significantly shortens the um, the program and uh, I am going to use that in the future PID loop and uh, that is going to make your program not just PID program but just programming in general very simple so let's type um, motor and my first motor is my left motor so let's call it left base equals to, that's how you assign the value, and equals to, in this case, we call it speed. And the other motor, motor, left base, right base, excuse me, right base, also equals to speed. Well, this, actually right here, the signs in front of the speed, it can be positive, it can be negative. However, the point is that, the point of having this is that, um, when you assign a number called speed to the motor, what you would expect is that if the speed is positive, we expect the robot to go forward. If the speed is negative, we expect the robot to go backward. So that you don't have to figure out what sign I need to put in front of the motor. Uh, so if you fix, if you actually fix the signs here. So let's say that right here, let's assume that we plug them in oppositely and uh, they actually write, but if you do the same thing and then you type in the task main move base excuse me move base and uh, for, for instance just do type 1 to 7 full power and then the robot starts spinning you, you know that one of the signs in front of speed should be negative because uh, and the robot keeps turning obviously you need to reverse one side of the base so um, if it goes backwards, you, you, you know that you have to reverse both sides of the base, uh, base so that um, it can go uh, forward when it's positive. And for me, it's just forward is positive. It just makes sense. So And it's going to make your PID programming a lot easier. So um, that is our first episode, just setting up something very simple. And um, actually, let me type the um, actual PID. Uh, user function. Let's call this function PID base control. And uh, we are going to add in the parameters in the next episode. And uh, that is, excuse me, that is not good. So we are going to uh, add the parameter and actually dive into PID programming um, next episode. And uh, this is Martin Malvex Forever, and I will see you in the next video. What did I even do?